Hello, I'm Roger Gillette with Scheffler Service Brand Rep Expert. Today I want to talk to you about a hot topic we get on the technical hotline regarding hydraulics. One of the most common calls we receive relates to a no-release condition after replacement of a clutch kit or hydraulic component. The problem is usually air trapped in the release system. Here I have a complete hydraulic release system to demonstrate on. One misconception with a complete hydraulic unit is that they are pre-bled. While in most cases you can just install one of these units and never experience an issue, the fact is there can still be small pockets of air that can cause quite a headache. To remedy this problem, I'm going to show you a fairly simple process to bleed out one of these units or virtually any external slave cylinder when you run into issues. With a new unit, you will usually have a plastic strap holding the slave cylinder push rod in. First, we start by pressing in on the push rod and removing the tabs, holding a plastic strap to the slave cylinder. Next, face the hydraulic line upwards at about a 45 degree angle. Begin pumping the push rod slowly. It usually takes between 30 to 40 actuations to ensure all of the air trapped in the system has had a chance to naturally bleed out of the master cylinder reservoir. Sometimes you can assist the air bubbles by lightly tapping on the side of the slave cylinder during this process. When you're done bleeding the system, you will reattach the plastic retaining straps and install the component on the vehicle. If you have any additional questions or concerns, you can contact us on any RepExpert portal.